fantastic boy here. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to remember some common chemotherapy regimen. I've made a few slides here, so you can kind of go along with me as I go through this video. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start with antimicrotubules, vinco alkaloids. So that, that will be the vinorelbin, vincristin, vinblastin. So mostly it's just cinema. Remember cinema, C-E-N-E-M-A for that group. So that's constipation, extravasation, neuropathy, emetic potential, myelosuppression, and alopecia. And in this case, the extravasation can be treated with a, a hyaluronidase injection. So it's going to be a five point, like a star, at the uh, extravasation site. So taxin, docetaxel, mostly NEMA. So it will be the last four that cinema, NEMA, fluid retention. So that's neuropathy, emetic, myelosuppression, and alopecia. So in this case, for the uh, fluid retention, you have to pre-medicate with uh, dexamethasone. So use 8 milligrams BID 3D. So remember, 8 BID 3D. Paclitaxel, napaclitaxel. In this case, it's nematividy. Nematividy. So in this case, you would pre-med with H1 inhibitor, H2 inhibitor, and dexamethasone. So it's three drugs, pre-medication. Cabezataxel. It's nematividy. Also, nematividy plus diarrhea. So in this case, you are pre-med with H1 inhibitor, H2 inhibitor, and dexamethasone. Lastly, is sabepilon. This is a weird one. It comes after the other taxins have been used. Um, so it's not affected by peak glycoprotein or beta tubular mutation, which is why it comes after those. And again, it's a weird one. Remember, it's a weird one. It's a microlyte antibiotics. It's got a dose cap, the 2.2 milligram per meter square. Also, our nematividy. Nematividy. But in this case, you only pre-med with H1 and H2. So remember, the first pre-med we talked about was for taxin, just dexamethasone, followed by paclitaxel, I'm sorry, docetaxel, followed by pacli and not pacli, and that's three, H1, H2, and dexer, followed by cabexetaxel, that's also three, H1, H2, and dexer. And lastly, your sabepilone is just H1 and H2. So next up are the topoisomerase inhibitors. So with topo 1, a renotican, a ran to the camtoser, camtoser for the brand name. You would also hear a ran to the can, just the part of the diarrhea part of uh, a renotican. So I bolded the horror of the ran and age of the dar and age of the diarrhea, so which gives RH squared. So you would dose adjust for renal issues, hepatic issues, and hematologic issues. So that will be the neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, anemia. Also for the diarrhea, remember, it's really, really important with tyrenotica. So early diarrhea within 24 hours, you do atropine or you can do Lomoto. So you can either do atropine or Lomoto. For the delayed, you either do lipiramide or triotide. And the way you can remember this is alphabetical. So atropine, lamato, lopiramide, and octreotide. So going on to top of two inhibitors. So anthracyclines, in this case, remember anthracyclines died and were given simervisation. Anthracyclines died and were given semarvisation. So the died, D down uh, uh idaribicin, epiribicin, and doxorubicin. And we're given semarvisation. C, not constipation in this case, it'll be cardiotoxicity, acute and delayed. Emetic, myelosuppression, mucositis, alopecia, and extravasation. And in this case, extravasation is, uh, is treated with toctect. Totect. So I bolded the um, the toe of the topo two and toe to toctect. So you can remember. So it's toe to toe. Toctect. That's what you use to treat the esterification uh, in topo two anthracyclines.
And lastly here, the alkylating agent. So we're gonna start with the platinums. Cis platinum, cis. Cis model is never argue with a neurologist. So the model, OTT hill of the model is for autotoxicity. Nef, NEP of the never, nefer, as I wrote there, is nephrotoxicity. And the neuro part of the neurologist is for neurotoxicity. So, for carboplatin, tell cabo, I say my hello to his dad. My hello, myelosuppression. Cabo, myelosuppression. Tell cabo, I say my hello to his dad. Oxaliplatin, that's the last one. Also the weird one. It's not nephro. So remember, oxali, not nephro. So if it's not nephro, then it would be myelosuppression, neurotoxicity. And the neurotoxicity in this case is acute and delayed. Okay? So lastly here, I first aim to eat mesna with acrolein and avoid bladder issues. This is uh, pretty much for isophosphamide. I phosphamide, I should say. I phosphamide. So I phos, I phosphamide, I first aim to eat mesna with acrolein. Acrolein is the byproduct, the uh, the, the toxic byproduct of um, of the cyclophosphamide or I phosphamide. And mesna, you take mesna, you always take mesna with I phosphamide. With cyclophosphamide, you only take mesna if you're taking a dose over 1800 milligrams per And that's all I have. Hopefully this is this will be an easy way for you to remember uh, this chemotherapy regimen uh, because there's a lot of them out there. Uh, so hopefully this helps and good luck.